going door to door, so to speak. Uh, how do we protect our idea, our concept, uh, to keep from being acquired by someone else that can throw it on the ground within a month or two? You won't. That is a great question. You won't. Because we even see it with our business. Somebody will call us and say, hey, I've put the time together to put together a business plan. I'd like you to sign a confidentiality agreement. And then I'll say, why would I sign a confidentiality agreement? Well, because I'd like you to look at my business plan. Okay, so let me wrap my head around this. You're calling me, asking me to look at your business plan, either because you want to have, hire our services to look at your business plan, or you want me to invest in the concept myself. You're calling me, and you're going to have me sign a document. You're going to have me send a document to my lawyer so that my lawyer can approve whether or not I should sign it, that I'm going to end up paying my lawyer an hourly fee so that I can sign it to send it back to you to protect an idea that I'm pretty certain someone else has already had. This is a restaurant business, baby. The ideas have already been used. Now, that's not to say there aren't more ideas, mm -hmm. but chances are pretty good. Somewhere in the country, somewhere in the world, people are already eating the menu item you're telling me that is so unique. So you won't protect it. You won't. It's difficult to get an angel investor to sign a document so that he or she can look at your wonderful idea. What you're going to do is you're going to create your business plan. Mm. You're going to keep track of your document. It's a copywritten document because you wrote it. Copyright's a little circle C. Everybody can do that when they write a document. You're going to have that document. And really what you're going to do is you're going to send it to the person in a manner that you have a record that you sent it to them. Right? Yeah. You're going to keep things like meeting notes when we had the meeting. Mm -hmm. You're going to have the documents. Here's his email or her, her email. Here's where I sent them the information. And possibly the best thing that could ever happen to your life is if a multimillionaire, maybe a billionaire, stole the idea. <laughs> That'd be great. The scary person isn't the wealthy person that could actually build it. The scary person is the poor person who couldn't. And most people don't think about that. That's why when they call us and then they say, well, I've been talking to my aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters and girlfriends and girlfriends, girlfriend and girlfriends, boyfriends, girlfriend, I mean, the list goes on, about my idea, I say, stop talking about it. Because those are the people you have to fear. Because if they go tell somebody else, it's no longer copywritten by you. They're giving the idea to somebody else, which then if it gets to a wealthy person, you're out of luck. I see. But as long as you're giving the idea to a wealthy person and you keep track of the data you're giving them, you're in great shape. Because they're either going to give you the money, which is good for you, or they're not going to give you the money, which is fine for you because you've got to hear a bunch of no's. Or, and it rarely happens, they're going to steal your idea, which again, rarely happens. And you're going to get rich while they're doing all the work. <laughs>